and happy spring. I sure as hell am glad that it's spring so I can finally stop pretending like my LA ass knows how to style outfits for winter that are actually warm. Also, I definitely have seasonal affective disorder so I'm very glad that that part of my year is over. <laughs> Let's style some outfits. Smooth ass transition. My outfits get a little bit creative later in this video, so I figured I would start out with the dress plain and simple. Since my dress's primary colors are brown and white, I went with some neutral tan accessories to complete the whole neutral color palette. I threw on my trusty picnic fit shoes that I have been wearing to death ever since I started this YouTube channel, and this wood bag that's super aesthetic and only mildly impractical. One of the easiest ways to dress down a dress, which is like what I talk about in all of my videos, is to layer a t-shirt underneath. This is particularly useful for strappy little dresses like this one, so you can wear a normal comfy bra underneath without the bra strap showing, or adhere to your school's antiquated dress code. If you have a pattern dress like me, try matching your t-shirt to one of the colors on the dress, like this white t-shirt to the white on the gingham, and if you have a solid colored dress, try a contrasting colored t-shirt. I added my go-to sneakers, which are very long overdue for a wash, and a bag with literally nothing in it because I am aggressively trendy like that, and there you go, a casual look for everyday shenanigans. Next, we're taking a complete 180 and going in the fancy ass direction. This is the fanciest top that I own, and it literally took me like 15 minutes to put on. I look like I'm emerging from the womb, and I also felt like it, although I wouldn't know because my mom had a C-section, so. TMI, why am I? Okay, anyways, this top came with this little modesty panel that's supposed to cover your middle area, but I folded it back so the gingham would peek through. Next, I whipped out my hair, very glamorously, of course, and tied it into a half updo with a hair bow for more francy, francy French girl. <laughs> fancy French girl is what I'm trying to say. Finally, I added shoes with a black cap toe and a black purse to incorporate those black accents throughout the outfit. And now here's the completed look. My dress looks like a skirt and I look like my millionaire parents bribed my way into college. Emerging once again out of my shirt birth canal, this time I'm turning my dress into a shirt by layering pants on top. I'm folding my dress up a bit so it won't bunch up underneath the pants and voila, now I have a little dainty cami to juxtapose these masculine structured pants. I needed a way to tie the whole look together, so I added this, like, fancy person fanny pack that matches the brown in the gingham dress. To complete the masculine vibes, I popped on some matching brown loafers, and now I look ready to talk over you in a boardroom meeting. Uh, for real though, I love playing with new silhouettes, and I am very proud of this outfit. I feel like really often I'm just stuck wearing jeans with a t-shirt or a fit and flare dress, like really basic stuff, and I was surprised by how much I love these wide leg pants. They're really comfortable and surprisingly flattering. They make my waist look really small and my booty look not super small, which is nice. Um, so yeah, random promo for wide leg pants, but maybe get out there, get a little adventurous, see if you can thrift some for yourself. Next, for a more feminine look, I swapped out those pants for a skirt. The key to layering skirts on top of dresses is to make sure that they're a thick enough fabric that the dress doesn't show through and it's not like wrinkly and weird and lumpy, and also that it's long enough to completely cover the dress, which mine just barely is. Because I was feeling a bit extra, I added a beret which ties all the neutral tones together. I spent like five minutes adjusting it and I still have no idea how the hell the correct way to wear this is, so French people and or hat experts and or artists who are very good at wearing a beret, help a girl out, leave a comment down below. At this point, the whole outfit felt very girly and sweet, so I toned it down with my chunky dad sneakers. You know, some people like hate these with a burning fashion, but that's okay, man. That's what fashion is all about. I say if at least 10 people don't think your outfit is absolutely hideous, then it's not worth wearing because you're not taking enough risks. Same thing goes for writing or for comedy or for YouTube videos. Wholesome. Okay, motivational speech aside, here is a quick variation on the same look. I'm adding a suede jacket that reminds me of kind of like a Wes Anderson character for some reason, and these funky platform shoes. And there we go. I look like a funky version of Margot Tenenbaum, or just like a sugar baby look, except I paid for all the clothes myself because you don't need no man to support your spending habits, ladies. Another way to switch up a dress is to layer a sweater on top. I recently sewed this cropped sweater and admittedly it looks a bit scandalous with a regular skirt because it's so short that it ends up showing my under boob or like moreover wannabe under boob area when I lift up my arms. So this dress is the perfect solution because it keeps me covered even in the most cropped of crop tops. 
I added my trusty loafers, which match the brown of the dress, to complete those studious vibes, and for my bag, I went a little bit wild. <laughs> Get it? Like, because it's leopard print and it's wild? Um, okay, the puns are getting bad at this point, I will admit that. I added this leopard crossbody bag to do a little bit of pattern mixing, and also because the sweater is so chunky and so short, I feel like the outfit looks a little top heavy, so I was in need of some volume on the bottom, which is coincidentally also what David says about my ass. Just kidding, David is very supportive of my body, but I do have to get back to the gym, it's been a while. For another casual look, I layered a long sleeve underneath, this time matching the dark brown tones in the dress. The little notch in the neckline and the lettuce hem on this top reminded me of the 90s, so I completed those 90s vibes with some tortoiseshell hair clips and chunky sneakers. I was quite proud of how color coordinated this outfit is, and it's really wearable for pretty much any occasion. Going to class, grabbing coffee, running errands, or just getting dressed up for no reason and staying in your apartment like I do most often. For spring and summer nights when it gets chilly, I love layering an oversized denim jacket over my dresses. I feel like even if your dress is super try-hard and girly, a denim jacket over it makes it just the right amount of casual. Since the oversized denim jacket kind of reminded me of the 80s, I pulled up my hair into a half updo with a scrunchie to complete those 80s vibes. I call these shoes my Gen M shoes because I've never seen anybody but her wear this style, but I think they add an interesting, put together, almost like southwestern edge to this outfit. And of course, this outfit would also look really good with sneakers or any casual shoes, but I've worn like way too many sneakers in this video so far, so I'm really just trying to change it up. My final look is a bit out there, but at this point I'm really just trying to get creative. I layered a cardigan on top of my dress for a pop of color, but purple and brown aren't really a natural color combination, so to make the outfit more cohesive, I'm turning to my trusty friend, the barrette. I bought this huge pack off of Amazon for like $10, and it has pretty much every color in the rainbow, including a purple one that matches my cardigan. To add even more color, I chose this color blocked bag, and then added yellow barrettes to match the strap. For shoes, I chose these graphic, almost pop art-esque boots with a slanted heel. In my like dream fashion world, the heel would have been yellow or purple, so it would have tied together the whole outfit perfectly, but I'm just working with what I got. And there you go. In this outfit, I feel like some sort of unicorn Instagram cowboy. Like this is the type of outfit that you only see on Instagram aesthetic pages, but it was really fun to play around with colors and I admittedly kind of feel like a badass in this outfit. Right, and those are all of my outfits. Um, hopefully this video was like, somewhat useful. I feel like the problem with styling videos is that a lot of you guys won't own this exact dress, but hopefully you can apply like the same tips to a dress with a similar silhouette or just any short dress that you have. If you guys have any styling questions that I could answer for you guys, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!